before we start off this video allow me to thank you guys for supporting this channel or stone code cipher i have so far clicked now 1000 and above subscribers thanks once again for that guys now back to the video we are going to be talking about the title attribute so what's the use of this title attribute what it does it gives some extra information to an element which you never provided on a website or web page let's say it's an icon and you want a user to know what it's all about so you have to embed that title attribute on that element so when a user hovers over the mouse he or she is able to know what it's all about so the live example is here on youtube or any site you will go on as you can see for more extra knowledge also these title attributes acts as the tooltip however these tooltips are user defined or user designed you design them the way you want but for a title attribute it will be the same on every web page you go on so as you can see when a user comes here he or she may not understand that this is the upload button unless you go ahead and embed a tooltip or title attribute so for this case youtube is using a tooltip as you can see when i hover over that they will tell me this is upload button when i over this they will show me these are youtube apps over this they will tell me these are settings so that's kind of the title attribute its real future is here on the left upper hand side you are seeing that youtube logo so when i hover over that they will tell me this is youtube home so you will know this is the home button and take action on that so let's go straight in the code and see how this is achieved it's the same applying to these icons they will tell me this is facebook this is my website i embedded this is the instagram twitter linkedin so you guys you can go ahead and follow me on those networks now let's see how it's done in our code here let's say this page i created is in this folder so this is the page it is in the same folder with all these images you're seeing and videos so i'm going to use this image of mine or stone code cipher and also this image pick five now i write i will first write the image tag set the source so this source will get the url the uniform resource locator where the image is located so there's nothing like big path here they are in the same directory so i'm going to say austin underscore code underscore cipher so that's the name of my image save refresh and this is what i'm having it's too big i'm going to go in my css i linked and try to style it whoa not purchasing anything here let me kind of give it some height oh i'm consuming so maybe that's now better so i want when a user comes and sees this image you'll be able to get that that extra information about this that this is this one and this one so what i have to do it's go in my code and i had this title attribute there title because so i may write my information hey i'm i'm austin called cipher save this Control s on your keyboard so when i reload so as you can see it's it has done nothing to our image it's still the way it is but when i bring my mouse over the image you see hey i'm austin code cipher so that's how you can use this title attribute to display some extra information about your elements on a web page still applies let me say another image i'm going to copy this 
paste it on a new line I'm just going to change its type to pick 5 and also say hey this is an iPhone save this and when I bring my mouse over this image they will tell me hey this is an iPhone so that's how you can use the title attribute on your web page so I'm going to get rid of this let's say you have a form and it's to upload the file on the internet on your website so inside this I'll put my input element input type and I'll call this file value no less a file save that let me zoom in let's say that's our file now a user can come and click and choose any file you or she wants let me also add the submit button input so this is just for sampling it's not going to be uploading any file anywhere I'm, call, I'm going to call this submit so it's going to be a button and I want the value on it to be publish As you can see we are having our two buttons for file as you can see it has its default title attribute and I will say no file and this one has nothing so we can also go ahead and customize our title attribute there so so that it doesn't display no file chosen we can put our title attribute here let's say it's going to be condition we say upload only mp4 check out this when I hover over that they will tell me upload only mp4 when I click there and select a file let me say that so it will display the file which is going to be uploaded but I want also this one to be having some title attribute like ready to publish I'll put also my title attribute here and say ready to publish stop let me say this is the file and when I hover over this button they will tell me ready to publish so that's how you use the title attribute on your elements any extra information you want to provide to an element you can use it so thanks for watching guys i hope you liked the video and you learned something please go ahead and subscribe hit that like button comment and tell me what we should do next in other tutorials and we shall be able to solve it some extra more information about that also windows has the same functionality as you can see when i place over that up it will display that tooltip so where it's located, type, size, date of modification. So thanks for watching once again guys. I'll see you in the next tutorials.